Okay, peace to everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to do a quick review or review and an unboxing of the new G-Shock. It's the GBD200SM-1A5, okay? Now, for those of you that know me, I don't usually do reviews. This is my first time ever, but I really like this watch and I kind of wanted to do it. The main reason why I'm doing it is because I saw it, I liked it, I tried to do a lot of research on it. Aside from the specifications, all the videos that I saw on YouTube were pretty much videos from people from other continents. I'm currently in America right now, so I just wasn't kind of connecting to those people reviewing it. And some of them weren't really speaking, they were just showing the watch and that really didn't help. So I'm like, let me help some people out by doing the review. So that is what I am doing right now, okay? This is my previous version. We're gonna talk about why it's here in a few minutes. And this is the G-Shock, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox it. Once again, it's the GBD200 SM-1A5, okay? I have it in the gray and orange color. So, here we go. Cover, you know what that is. Little foam cushion to do whatever that's supposed to do. This is meant to help you keep it in place once you have it back in the case. That is the watch itself. If you've owned a G-Shock before, then you know about the warranty card and the manual, of course. And that is it. Nothing else is inside. So, let's get straight to it. Um, this feels a little bit cheap, in my opinion, but once again, it's all about the watch, so it doesn't matter if it's cheap or not. I really don't care much for this. I care more about the watch, so I'll put that to the side. Now, here we go. Right? I personally think this is gorgeous. I know that sounds weird, but it, it is gray and orange. So some people might be thinking it might look a little bit childish. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, the other colors, in my opinion, they just look very, very, very basic. And this really honestly stands out, right? Everybody have their own preference. This happens to be mine. Okay, it's gray, orange, a little bit of yellow. It is a limited edition. It's a little bit hard to find. So good luck finding it if you're interested in this one. This was released last year in other countries and that's probably why they have it on YouTube with other people from other countries reviewing it. It was released in America this year. It's currently February 2022. It was released last year, 2021, around November, December. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the wrist. Very, very easy to put on. And there you have it. Right now, the reason why I have my previous edition right next to it, this is the, I kind of only buy the limited edition ones. This is the Crank New York City edition. This is about 12 years old, believe it or not. It still looks great. Just make sure you keep it clean, keep the batteries changed. It did stop working at, in like three, four years ago and I just had to, had to get it fixed. A friend of mine did it for free in Ghana, which was great and now it's back to running like it never stopped, okay? But this is heavier. This material also feels harder. It is harder compared to this one. This is a gray material. I do not know what this is made with. I am not one of those watch experts, so uh, sorry, I can't give you any big words to help you out, okay? But this feels better. It's much lighter. Um, sometimes people think lighter is cheap, but it's not always cheap. It's just technology. Things get lighter, right? Um, it's also good on the wrist, you know, if you get used to a watch on your wrist, it feels like nothing is there. If you're wearing all of those stainless steel watches, nothing is wrong with those. Sometimes the heavier, the better in those type of watches. But this is great. So let's put this to the side for now. Now let's talk about the features. My main thing when it comes to watches, especially um, watches like this, is mainly a clock, alarm, and like some kind of um, world clock. That's really what I look for. And a uh, st uh, start watch, stop watch. That's what I look for. Okay, and this watch gives me all four, plus more. It also has Bluetooth, so I can connect it to my phone. I can get some text message notifications, emails, things of that nature. But I do not have that enabled because I just don't need that on my wrist every day. I'm fine with just a watch. My favorite thing on this is, if you guys can look right there at the top around here, it's the world clock. At the bottom, I can see the current time in America. At the top, I can see the time in Ghana currently. I have family in Ghana. This is very, very important to me because of that. So right now it's 11 p.m. I know for sure my daughter is sleeping because her bedtime is around seven. I know when she wakes up, 
I know when she's in daycare. So this is, every time I look at my watch, I honestly think of my daughter because immediately I know what she's doing because of the time. So that's a very, very um, good, I don't know, it, it just feels good. You know, she's very, very young. My daughter's only like 17 months old. Topic for another day, okay? But that's one of my biggest things. It also has four alarms, which I was able to set up by going here. You just hold the top left button down for about three seconds, and then you're able to get to the settings, right? You can adjust it. You can also link it through your phone and make the settings from your phone, which is much easier. But this is this was honestly very, very easy to use. I didn't feel like downloading another application, blah, 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 blah. So this is perfect for me. Um, other features. Oh, price. This is around $150, $160. If you buy it on eBay, obviously, it's going to be a little bit more. This is currently sold out on the G-Shock website. It's a limited edition. So... If you like this one, good luck finding it. There are other versions, there's other colors that you might be interested in, okay? The weight, let's turn this on. No, I do not use this to weigh drugs, just in case you're wondering. This is the previous um, one that I own. It's 2.39 ounces. The moment I put this on, I knew this was lighter, 2.02. So that's a big difference, right? The moment I put it on, I knew it was lighter. I've already talked a little bit about the features. What else does it have? Um, it can count your steps for you. So if I just press the top left button right there, I can see another view of the watch or the clock. And now I can see today I have 5,314 steps. Those bar, uh, The bars is kind of like a graph. It'll tell you which days you take more steps, blah, blah, blah. I don't really monitor my steps, but it is a cool feature. So, I mean, this is also not going to give you your um, blood pressure, your heart rate, and things like that, in my opinion. If you need a watch to tell you that, you probably need a lot more than a watch in life if you need a watch to tell you that but some people have it some people like it you know who cares what i like anyway um what else i think that's pretty much it in a second i'll talk about the negative but let me clean it really really quick uh the two negatives depending on the angle for the most part when you're looking at it from a specific angle you might think uh let me clean this okay depending on the angle the let me get back to the main screen okay Depending on the angle, the display of the watch looks better. Right now, I don't know if it's more clear, that angle, and then in front. Right, sometimes um, it's just not so clear to see. I wish I can kind of increase the brightness a little bit, and then it would be perfect, right? But this is also battery operated. This battery will probably last me years. It's not a watch where you have to charge every night or whatever people do with their smart watches. Um, so I'm fine with that. I could just kind of switch my wrist up a little bit and I'll be able to tell the time. So that's one of the negatives. The other negative is that I feel like it gets blurred or smudged or whatever word easily. The moment you kind of rub on it with something, you know, then it gets a little bit um, kind of dirty, but not really dirty. And now I need what? A microfiber cloth to clean it. And it's back to normal, right? My previous one, it kind of handles um, smudge or dirt or whatever a little bit better, right? My opinion but I do think that's fact. But this might be because this ridge is a little bit higher, so it's harder to touch. Like this one, there's not much of a ridge here, or a level, whatever word that is, and this you can easily access the screen. So those are the only two negatives. Aside from that, everything else for me is um, great. Let me put this aside. Um, I really like it. A lot of compliments. I don't really know what else to say. There was something else I wanted to mention, um, but I think that is pretty much it. So I'll just give you guys some more shots in case you're thinking about buying one. Oh, yes, the light. If you're into G-Shocks, you already know about the light. So when you press the button, this is the color that you see. It's like a blue. It is a blue, like a dark purple kind of blue. My previous one, I do prefer this light better, but who cares? All right. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.